everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm so excited to share my simple travel journal setup for my upcoming trip to Japan. We will be exploring some beautiful spots in Aichi and Jifu prefectures, including Nagoya, Inoyama, Shirakawa Go, and Takayama. Since I've learned to pack light over the years, my journaling kit is small but has everything I need to capture memories on the go. Now, this is my trusty traveler's notebook and passport size by the traveler's company, which is in camel color. I've been using this notebook for over six years now, and, and as you can see, it has its own unique character. The leather has aged beautifully with scuffs and marks that show it's been well traveled. I don't baby it at all. I believe every mark adds to its charm and story. I recently added a little something special to it, a manual factory plane charm that I picked up on a recent trip to Hong Kong. It adds a nice personal touch to the notebook and reminds me of my travels every time I see it. That's what I love about this journal. It's been with me on so many adventures and it just gets better with age. The charm, along with all the marks and wear, makes it truly one of a kind and a piece of my journey. So I'm curious to know, do you baby your traveler's notebooks or do you let them gather scuffs and marks as part of their story? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear how you treat your TNs. I keep this setup simple and functional. I'll be bringing along my favorite insert, which is a Traveler's Company Traveler's Notebook 001 ruled or lined passport size refill. I use this as a daily log to jot down quick notes, reflections, and the little highlights from each day of my trip. It's my go-to for capturing everything on the spot. For past trips, I've used the Traveler's Company lined insert or the Muji pocket notebooks. As you can see here, I find the passport size perfect because it's compact enough to carry around without adding much bulk, yet it provides just enough space to capture memories in a quick, spontaneous way. While I use the passport size for notes on the go, I like to create a separate insert in the regular traveler's notebook size as a dedicated scrapbook journal when I get back. This larger journal is where I'll add photos, ticket stubs, receipts, and other little paper treasures I pick up along the way. There's no rush on this part since I already have my notes from the trip in my passport PN as a reference. So whenever I have time, which can be years after the trip, I can dive into making my scrapbook journal without any pressure. The system of using a passport size TN for travel and a larger regular TN for scrapbooking after the trip lets me travel light while keeping everything organized. If you're curious to see how I create these scrapbook travel journals, check out my video how to start a scrapbook travel journal where I go into detail. So let's dive into what I have inside my TN for this trip. In addition to my trusty notebook refill, I've set up a few essentials to keep everything organized and ready to use on the go. First, I have a clear pocket insert. This is not a traveler's company brand. I got this in an office supply store here in Manila. At the front of this pocket, I keep a pencil board from Traveler's Company which is perfect for providing a smooth surface to write on and prevents pen marks from pressing through to other pages. At the back of the clear pocket, I store a few essentials which is my Hobonichi icon stencil for adding quick cute designs, some loose memo pad sheets, and a few cute tabs for marking important pages or sections. Next, I have my Traveler's Company sticker release paper insert in passport size, where I've preloaded some washi tape strips and stickers. This lets me decorate my pages on the go without needing to carry full rolls or sheets.
I joined this sticker release paper insert with my main notebook refill using an elastic band so they sit together nicely in the traveler's notebook elastic. Now for the setup inside my notebook refill, I keep things simple and organized, starting with a little decoration on the cover to give it a personal touch. I've also started pre-decorating some pages with stickers so they already have a bit of color and personality when I open them up. It saves time during the trip and gives me a head start on capturing the mood. On the first page, I set up an index, similar to the bullet journal system, so I can easily find entries. I've numbered each page to make it quick to reference special days or notes. Then I have our general itinerary attached on the next page, written on a cute memo pad. This is my quick guide to our daily plans and help me keep track of key locations and activities. The remaining pages are reserved for daily notes and reflections, a space for writing about each day's experiences and recording highlights. This setup is simple but functional, making it easy to record memories on the go without overloading my journal. Having a few pages already decorated with stickers also adds a nice touch. And keeping everything compact like this lets me stay focused on everything the trip without missing a detail. Now let's move on to the supplies I'll be bringing along. I like to keep my kit really minimal so I can focus on the experiences rather than worrying about carrying a heavy journaling setup. First, I have my trusty pen, the Pentel Energel Clena gel pen in 0.5mm with black ink. It's smooth, lightweight, and perfect for jotting down quick notes without any smudging. I'll also bring a few midliner highlighters to mark keywords such as names of sites, food, and landmarks so I can easily find them when I look back through my pages. As a backup, I'll pack an extra pen which is a Unipin fine liner which is waterproof and dries quickly. This one's great for layering with highlighters since the ink doesn't smudge or smear. To add the touch of decoration, I'll also bring my Traverse Company Brass Template Bookmark Stencil with an alphabet cutout, which lets me add neat uniform letters on the go. I'll keep all the supplies in a cute Peko Chan pencil case that's just the right size. This pencil case along with my passport size Traveler's Notebook will be packed neatly into my Traveler's Factory co coffee bag. It's compact and keeps everything organized, making it easy to carry my essentials without adding much weight. So this minimal setup lets me stay focused on journaling without any fuss, so I can fully enjoy my trip and record memories on the go. So that's everything I'll be taking along in my simple, compact travel journaling kit. I hope this setup inspires you to keep things light and focus on capturing memories as they happen. If you'd like to see more of my travel journaling process or get ideas for your own, be sure to check out my travel journal playlist. I've got plenty of tips and inspiration there for making the most of documenting your journeys. And before we wrap up, I'd love to hear from you. Do you prefer a minimal travel journal setup like mine or do you bring a full kit? Let me know in the comments. I'm always curious about what works best for other travelers and journalers. Thanks so much for watching and happy journaling. Bye!